George Gamow, born Georgi Antonovich Gamow, was a theoretical physicist and cosmologist, notably an early advocate and developer of Lemaitre's Big Bang Theory. He discovered a theoretical explanation of alpha decay via quantum tunneling, and worked on radioactive decay of the atomic nucleus, star formation, stellar nucleosynthesis and Big Bang nucleosynthesis, and molecular genetics. In his middle and late career, Gamow focused more on teaching, and became well known as an author of popular books on science, including 123, Infinity, and The Mr. Tompkins series of books. Some of his books are still in print more than a half century after their original publication, and have become classic but still relevant introductions to fundamental principles of mathematics and science. Early life and career. Gamo was born in Odessa, Russian Empire. His father taught Russian language and literature in high school, and his mother taught geography and history at a school for girls. In addition to Russian, Gamo learned to speak some French from his mother, and German from a tutor. Gamo learned fluent English in his college years and later. Most of his early publications were in German or Russian, but he later switched to writing in English for both technical papers and for the lay audience. He was educated at the Novorossiya University in Odessa and at the University of Leningrad. Gamow studied under Alexander Friedman for some time in Leningrad, until Friedman's early death in 1925. He aspired to do his doctoral thesis under Friedman, but had to change dissertation advisors. At the university, Gamow made friends with three other students of theoretical physics, Lev Landau, Dmitry Ivanenko, and Matvey Bronstein. The four formed a group known as the Three Musketeers, which met to discuss and analyze the groundbreaking papers on quantum mechanics published during those years. He later used the same phrase to describe the Alpha, Hermann, and Gamma group. On graduation, he worked on quantum theory in Göttingen, where his research into the atomic nucleus provided the basis for his doctorate. He then worked at the Theoretical Physics Institute of the University of Copenhagen, from 1928 to 1931, with a break to work with Ernest Rutherford at the Cavendish Laboratory, Cambridge. He continued to study the atomic nucleus, but also worked on stellar physics with Robert Atkinson and Fritz Houtemans. In 1931 Gamow was elected a corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR at age 28 one of the youngest in the history of this organization. During the period 1931 to 1933, George Gamow worked in the physical department of the Radium Institute headed by Vitaly Klopin. Under the guidance and direct participation of Igor Kurchatov, Lev Mysovsky and George Gamow, Europe's first cyclotron was designed. In 1932, George Gamow and Lev Mysovsky submitted a draft design for consideration by the Academic Council of the Radium Institute, which approved it. The cyclotron was not completed until 1937. Radioactive Decay in the early 20th century, radioactive materials were known to have characteristic exponential decay rates or half-lives. At the same time, radiation emissions were known to have certain characteristic energies. By 1928, Gamo had solved the theory of the alpha decay of a nucleus via tunneling, with mathematical help from Nikolai Kochen. The problem was also solved independently by Ronald W. Gurney and Edward U. Condon. Gurney and Condon did not, however, achieve the quantitative results achieved by Gamo. Classically, the particle is confined to the nucleus because of the high energy requirement to escape the very strong nuclear potential well. Also classically, it takes an enormous amount of energy to pull apart the nucleus, an event that would not occur spontaneously. In quantum mechanics, however, there is a probability the particle can tunnel through the wall of the potential well and escape. Gamow sold a model potential for the nucleus and derived from first principles a relationship between the half-life of the alpha decay event, process and the energy of the emission. 
which had been previously discovered empirically, and was known as the Geiger-Nuttall law. Some years later, the name Gamow factor or Gamow Summerfeld factor was applied to the probability of incoming nuclear particles tunneling through the electrostatic Coulomb barrier and undergoing nuclear reactions. Defection Gamo worked at a number of Soviet establishments before deciding to flee the Soviet Union because of increased oppression. In 1931, he was officially denied permission to attend a scientific conference in Italy. Also in 1931, he married Lyubov Vokmanzieva, another physicist in Soviet Union, whom he nicknamed Rho, after the Greek letter. Gamo and his new wife spent much of the next two years trying to leave the Soviet Union, with or without official permission. Niels Bohr and other friends invited Gamo to visit during this period, but Gamma could not get permission to leave. Gamo later claimed that his first two attempts to defect with his wife were in 1932, and involved trying to kayak. First a planned 250-kilometer paddle over the Black Sea to Turkey, and another attempt from Murmansk to Norway. Poor weather foiled both attempts, but they had not been noticed by the authorities. In 1933 Gamow was suddenly granted permission to attend the 7th Solvay Conference on Physics, in Brussels. He insisted on having his wife accompany him, even saying that he would not go alone. Eventually the Soviet authorities relented and issued passports for the couple. The two attended and arranged to extend their stay, with the help of Marie Curie and other physicists. Over the next year, Gamow obtained temporary work at the Curie Institute, University of London, and University of Michigan, moved to America. In 1934, Gamow and his wife moved to the United States. He became a professor at George Washington University in 1934, and recruited physicist Edward Teller from London to join him at GWU. In 1936, Gamow and Teller published what became known as the Gamow-Teller Selection Rule for Beta Decay. During his time in Washington, Gamow would also publish major scientific papers with Mario Schoenberg and Ralph Alpha. By the late 1930s, Gamow's interests had turned towards astrophysics and cosmology. In 1935, Gamow's son, Igor Gamow, was born. George Gamow became a naturalized American in 1940. He retained his formal association with GWU until 1956. During World War II, Gamow did not work directly on the Manhattan Project producing the atomic bomb. In spite of his knowledge of radioactivity and nuclear fusion, he continued to teach physics at GWU and consulted for the U.S. Navy. Gamow was interested in the processes of stellar evolution and the early history of the solar system. In 1945, he co-authored a paper supporting work by German theoretical physicist Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker on planetary formation in the early solar system. Big Bang Nuclear Synthesis George Gamow was the father of the hot Big Bang theory of the expanding universe. He was the earliest to employ Alexander Friedman's and Georges Lemaitre's non-static solutions of Einstein's gravitational equations describing the universe of uniform matter density and constant spatial curvature. Gamow's crucial advance would provide a physical reification of Lemaitre's idea of a unique primordial quantum. Gamow did this by assuming that the early universe was hot, i.e., that it was dominated by radiation rather than by matter. Most of the later work in cosmology is founded in Gamow's theory. He applied his model to the question of the creation of the chemical elements into the subsequent condensation of matter into galaxies, whose mass and diameter he was able to calculate in terms of the fundamental physical parameters, such as the speed of light c, Newton's gravitational constant g, Sommerfeld's fine structure constant alpha, and Planck's constant h. Gamow's interest in cosmology arose from his earlier interest in energy generation and element production and transformation in stars this work. 
in turn, evolved from his fundamental discovery of the mechanism of nuclear alpha decay and his application of this theory to the inverse process to calculate rates of thermonuclear reaction. At first, Gamow believed that all the elements might be produced in the very high temperature and density early stage of the universe. Later, he revised this opinion on the strength of compelling evidence advanced by Hoyle et al. that elements heavier than lithium are largely produced in thermonuclear reactions in stars and in supernovae. Gamo formulated a set of coupled differential equations describing his proposed process and assigned, as a PhD, dissertation topic, his graduate student Ralph Al for the task of solving the equations numerically. These results of Gamma and Alpha appeared in 1948 as the notorious Alpha Beta Gamma paper. Beta later referred to this paper as being wrong, presumably because the authors failed to take account of the helium nucleus or exiguous cross section for reaction with other nucleotides, effectively halting the primordial process at this element. Before his interest turned to the question of the genetic code, Gamow published about 20 papers on cosmology, the earliest in 1939 on galaxy formation, followed in 1946 by the first description of cosmic nucleosynthesis. He also wrote many popular and semi-popular articles as well as academic textbooks in which he dealt with his contributions to the subject. Three of his papers are of particular interest. The first of these dealt with an attenuated version of the coupled set of equations describing the production of the proton and the deuteron from thermal neutrons, by a characteristically ingenious simplification and using the observed ratio of hydrogen to heavier elements he was able to obtain the density of matter at the onset of nucleosynthesis and from this the mass and diameter of the early galaxies. The second paper produced similar results, but this time based on another ingenious determination of the density of matter and radiation at the point at which they became equal. In this paper Gamma determined the density of the relict background radiation from which a present temperature of 7K is trivially predicted. The last paper of interest was essentially a reminder and recapitulation of the work of Gamma as well as that of Alpha and Robert Herman which was prompted by the discovery of the cosmic background radiation by Penzias and Wilson in 1965 and for which Gamo, Alpha and Herman did not at that time receive the credit they deserved for their prediction of its existence and source. Today, that injustice has been largely redressed. DNA and RNA After the discovery of the structure of DNA in 1953 by Francis Crick, James D. Watson, Morris Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin, Gamow attempted to solve the problem of how the order of the four different kinds of bases in DNA chains could control the synthesis of proteins from amino acids. Crick has said that Gamow's suggestions helped him in his own thinking about the problem, as related by Crick. Gamo suggested that the 20 combinations of four DNA bases taken three at a time corresponded to the 20 amino acids that form proteins. This led Crick and Watson to enumerate the 20 amino acids common to proteins. Gamow's contribution to solving the problem of genetic coding gave rise to important models of biological degeneracy. The specific system proposed by Gamo was incorrect, as the triplets were supposed to be overlapping. GGA could produce one amino acid and GAC another, and non-degenerate. Later protein sequencing work proved that this could not be the case, the true genetic code is non-overlapping and degenerate, and changing the order of a combination of bases does change the amino acid. In 1954, Gamow and Watson co-founded the RNA Thai Club, a discussion group of leading scientists concerned with the problem of the genetic code. In his own autobiographical writings, Watson later acknowledged Gamow's ideas and colorful personality as a zany, card trick playing, limerick singing, views swilling, practical joking, giant imp, late career and life. 
Gamo worked at George Washington University from 1934 until 1954, when he became a visiting professor at the University of California, Berkeley. In 1956, he moved to the University of Colorado Boulder, where he remained for the rest of his career. In 1956, Gamo became one of the founding members of the Physical Science Study Committee which later reformed teaching of high school physics in the post-Sputnik years. Also in 1956, he divorced his first wife. Gamo later married Barbara Perkins in 1958. In 1959 Gamow, Hans Bethe, and Victor Weisskopf publicly supported the re-entry of Frank Oppenheimer into teaching college physics at the University of Colorado. As the Red Scare began to fade, while in Colorado, Frank Oppenheimer became increasingly interested in teaching science through simple hands-on experiments and he eventually moved to San Francisco to found the Exploratorium. Sadly, Gamo would not live to see his colleagues' opening of this innovative science museum. In late August 1969, in his 1961 book The Atom and Its Nucleus, Gamo proposed the novel idea of representing the periodic system of the chemical elements as a continuous tape, with the elements in order of atomic number wound round in a three-dimensional helix whose diameter increased stepwise. Gamo was an atheist. Gamo continued his teaching at the University of Colorado Boulder, and focused increasingly on writing textbooks and books on science for the general public. After several months of ill health, surgeries on his circulatory system, diabetes and liver problems, Gamo was dying of liver failure, which he had called the weak link that could not withstand the other stresses. In a letter written to Ralph Alpha on August 18, he had written, The pain in the abdomen is unbearable and does not stop. Prior to this, there had been a long exchange of letters with his former student in which he was seeking a fresh understanding of some concepts used in his earlier work with Paul Dirac. Gamow relied on Alpha for deeper understanding of mathematics. On August 19, 1968, Gamow died at age 64 in Boulder, Colorado and was buried there in Green Mountain Cemetery. The physics department tower at the University of Colorado at Boulder is named for him. Writings Gamo was a highly successful science writer, with several of his books still in print more than a half century after their initial publication. As an educator, Gamo recognized and emphasized fundamental principles that were unlikely to become obsolete even as the pace of science and technology accelerated. He also conveyed a sense of excitement with the revolution in physics and other scientific topics of interest to the common reader. Gamo himself sketched the many illustrations for his books, which added a new dimension to and complemented what Gamo intended to convey in the text. Wherever it was essential, he was unafraid to introduce mathematics but he tried to avoid scaring off potential readers with too many equations that did not illustrate essential points. In 1956, he was awarded the Kalinga Prize by UNESCO for his work in popularizing science with his Mr. Tompkins. Series of books, his book 1, 2, 3, Infinity, and other works. Before his death, Gamo was working with Richard Blade on a textbook, Basic Theories in Modern Physics, but the work was never completed or published under that title. Gamo was also writing My World Line, an informal autobiography, which was published posthumously in 1970. A collection of Gamow's writings were donated to the George Washington University in 1996. The materials include correspondence, articles, manuscripts and printed materials both by and about George Gamow. The collection is currently under the care of GWU Special Collections Research Center, located in the Estelle and Melvin Gelman Library.